Hey guys, this is your trusted weather forecast, and today we're going to be talking about Hurricane Ada that will significantly impact Central America as it rapidly intensifies into a likely major hurricane, and there is a large chance that it curves northwards towards the United States and Florida could receive some impacts. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed, so please click the subscribe button if you like weather-related content. Hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. Let's get right into this. This is the National Hurricane Center's current forecast for Ada. It has it rapidly intensifying into a 110 mile per hour Category 2 hurricane, just shy of major hurricane status, which it will likely achieve, as they mentioned in their discussion. Hurricane warnings are in effect for Nicaragua, and tropical storm warnings and the hurricane watch is in effect for the Honduras. The system will be very major for these countries, as it will drop well over two feet of rain for most people. It will weaken as it moves into the Honduras into a depression where the cone of uncertainty becomes much larger as it either could go into the Pacific Ocean or into Mexico westward, or it could make a northward turn, what the National Hurricane Center is currently forecasting, a slight northward turn, potentially back into the Caribbean to reorganize and strike the United States. These are tropical storm force. Wind speed probabilities, and you see the pink there, is a 90 to 100% chance to see tropical storm force winds. In the darkest green, it's a 5 to 10% chance for you to see tropical storm force wind speeds. Current intensity guidance for Ada has it becoming a hurricane. It will become a hurricane. And a few of the models have it becoming a major hurricane, a low-end Category 3 hurricane, which is fully possible if it rapidly intensifies enough. And a general weakening trend is expected after it makes landfall, but if it can get back out into the ocean, a strengthening trend is expected. Uh, such as the HWFI, it has a weakening trend into a Category 1 hurricane, but once it interacts with water again, it re-strengthens back into a major hurricane. These are all the potential paths it could take. You can see some of these models have it going straight into the Pacific Ocean while the bulk of the models have it going back into the Caribbean Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, into the Caribbean, and potentially hitting Cuba, Mexico, and in the long run, potentially Florida. This is the 12Z GFS run, and you can see on November 3rd, it has the hurricane off the coast of Central America with a pressure of 973 millibars. The lower the number, the stronger the system. And as we move ahead, after it makes landfall, it goes back into the Atlantic, goes through Cuba and impacts the Miami area as a weak tropical storm with a pressure of 992 millibars around November 10th as it pushes along the west coast of Florida and weakens. This is one model, one scenario, anything is possible, but U.S. impacts are becoming increasingly probable. These are current sea surface temperatures in degrees Celsius, and you can see the Caribbean, particularly closer to Cuba, is very warm with widespread 29 to 30 degrees Celsius waters. But as we get towards the Gulf, the waters cool down a little bit into 26 degrees or lower. While that won't really weaken any larger systems, if a system is small enough and more vulnerable to weakening, it will likely weaken when it touches those waters if it is small enough question of the day for this video is what is the most amount of rain you have ever gotten from a tropical system or if you don't live in a tropic vulnerable area what is the most rain you've ever received from a regular storm system comment your answers below that's the trusted weather forecast for upcoming potential major hurricane ada that could impact the united states and more importantly bring significant impacts to central america make sure to like subscribe leave a comment if you want goodbye